Sorry about that, guys. We had some technical difficulty, but like I said, we are with our IT department. So what I thought would be great is everyone could introduce themselves, um, your name, the department that you work in, um, and maybe how long you've been at Burlington, and we'll get it going from there. Yep, so I'll start. So my name is Keith Ganey. Um, I manage the IT uh, Service Center, which is also known as the Service Desk, and I've been with Burlington for a year and about three months now. Uh, my name is Ahmed Atale. I'm the director of the IT innovation team here at Burlington. Uh, this day, seven years ago, is when I started, oh, so I've nice. been here for seven years. Happy anniversary! Officially. Happy yeah. anniversary. Awesome. I'm Rashma Datani. I'm manager of application development systems. I'm with Burlington for almost five plus years now. Oh, great. Awesome, guys. So, what we're going to do is something a little fun. We've got some questions in here so everyone can get to know you a little bit better. So, right. pull out a question uh, and we'll learn something see. fun about you. I thought this was candy. All right, let's see. <laughs> Oh, okay. This is the perfect one for me. So, describe the greatness that is Keith Ganey. All right. So, that started. No, I'm joking. So, have you ever binge watched a show? And if so, what show? Okay. So, the show I just binge watched was Game of Thrones. Oh, really? And the ending was disappointing. In case I don't want to ruin it for anyone, but it was disappointing. So, I sat, recorded the whole last season, watched it over the weekend when I had an opportunity, and was disappointed in the ending. So, yeah. that was the most recent show I binge watched. Thoughts on it? I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. I loved the last season. No spoilers. Though. No spoilers. No. Disappointing. What's your favorite sports team? <laughs> well, I'm a big Penn State fan, so I'm going to Nittany Lions. We are. Okay. Oh, Redskins fan. Ooh. I'm also a big Giants fan, too. Oh, gosh, guys. What's your favorite thing to get from the Burlington Cafe for lunch? Oh, yeah. So they make this salad with salmon, grilled mm. salmon, and that's my favorite. Yeah, I just nice. love it. It's perfect. <laughs> it's fit for summer food. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to start off with was um, first talk a little bit about your department. So hopefully our audience can learn a little bit more about our IT team and some of the work they do. So. Um, Keith, do you want to maybe talk a little bit about the team, your bigger department that you're a part of, and what you sure. guys work on? Sure. So um, I'm part of the infrastructure team. Um, once again, we're the service desk, the IT service center, which you call if you have a password issue or anything like that. So we handle everything under the sun from your password resets all the way to a store having a network issue. Um, so it's very fast paced, um, you know, very um, high tempo. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for growth and learning, and um, you know, we have a very good team. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so I'm head of the innovation team, so we're looking at new emerging technologies uh, that are going on, whether it's AI, machine learning, we're looking at mobile development. Um, so we're, we're a growing team, just as Keith was saying, it's fast paced, you're learning something new every day, whether something's breaking or something is just about to go live. Um, so it's a very exciting time, especially since our team is growing. Awesome. Same here, it's a development house. I think um, the tab we usually is, oh my God, you're just gonna be that boring coding job you guys do, but it's fun, you know, it's it's the team works together to build this product and see the end results of it. I think that's the fun part of the team. Awesome. So, um, Amit, tell us a little bit about how you got to Burlington. So, um, seven years ago to the day, <laughs> um, I, I first applied straight out of college. Uh, I was a, originally a developer. Uh, Java developer once I started I got to work on our point of sale they they threw me into the fire and gave me a lot of different unique opportunities to to help promote my career help gain some new skills along the way I then um, after some time became a manager of some various departments and then I'm here um, but it, it was straight out of school straight out of Penn State and then yeah wonderful Reshma what's your background and how did you get to Burlington so my background is from finance, so I worked with um, Bank of America and all the iBanks, is that's what. I moved from Michigan here, this is almost 10 years back, and I was looking for some change, different, and knowing retail has a fun different IT and what it brings to, that's where I started looking and I got to work for Burlington. Awesome. And what's your background, Keith? So, um, as a young college student, I started off wanting to either be an engineer, a computer science major, or MIS major. Okay. So after going through Calculus 1, Calculus 2, Calculus 3, <laughs> I changed paths. So I ended up going towards MIS because my personality and my, you know, I had a counselor that told me I'd be good at management, you know, managing people. So from there, I started off in the pharmaceutical industry. The pharmaceutical industry then outsourced their IT services and then um, 
offshored it, then I ended up here. Oh, great. So yeah, long awesome. story short. Um, so Reshma, what are some of the job opportunities available within the greater team of development at Burlington? So um, from the opportunities, I think we have variations of it, right? Different skills level from the software developers, you know, you can, if you're a new after college, like Amit said, right, you can have the level one opportunities where if you even have the basic knowledge of programming and coding, and I think that's, that's where you can um, apply and try it out. More than that, I think what we look for is your attitude. If you have that right attitude to think outside the box, be curious and be a team player, I think they, that takes you a long way. And I think you should just apply and, and take that chance. Yeah. What do you think, Anna? Yeah, the, the curiosity, as Reshma was saying, is it makes a huge impact, especially on some new hires, whether they're coming from college, whether they've been in the industry for a few years, or they're coming from somewhere that's not a retail background. Um, we, we are looking for some engineers that both have some development skills, some infrastructure skills. They're the all can do type of person. So mm -hmm. I, I agree with what she said about the curiosity, um, being a learner, being open to change and, and not being scared of something new coming through the door. Yeah. What do you guys typically look for? So for us, once again, we're very diverse. So basically we handle everything that kind of gets uh, implemented from the app dev, the web dev teams. So from um, my perspective, I'm looking for someone that's ready to deal with the fast paced you know, environment, that also is ready to think out the box. So we don't want to stay on the hamster wheel. So we're always looking for ways to try to improve service or lessens impact to the customers and the stores or the uh, corporate end users or the distribution centers. Um, we also look for that personality, that energy, me personally. So I like to see good energy because I believe good energy is infectious. So if you have positive energy, yeah. those around you will also be positive. Yeah. So I try to live by that motto. So um, that would be the core thing. So once again, technical aptitude is key. Uh, we've tried those that just have customer service skills. And sometimes we're so fast paced that it's difficult for those without technical aptitude to keep up. Mm -hmm. Do you think an internship is helpful for someone joining one of your teams? So for us, very much so, um, because they get a uh, glimpse of everything. So we'll have an intern come in, they'll get a sample of you know, a new Markdown app, they'll get a sample of you know, a web development type of project, some PM type of stuff, some partnership meetings that we'll be in. So they'll get a good kind of overview of what we do on a day to day. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So um, tell us a little bit about what could someone expect joining our department here at Burlington? What do you most enjoy about our culture, your team? Um, Ahmed, do you want to start? So I think something that I always loved about Burlington is at least given, given an opportunity, you are always given a chance to succeed. Mm -hmm. uh, you always get a lot of visibility into some of the projects that you work on. Um, everyone around is willing to help, no matter what, what the project, whether it's big or small. Um, and then just having uh, even if you're just a kid out of college or even if you're just someone that just starting in the industry, you could have a major impact here versus going somewhere else uh, where, where you might just be a QA tester for life or, or something like that, even though you have a master's or a PhD mm -hmm. in something. So I, I think that's a, a big thing about this place. Mm -hmm. Rashma, what do you think? I think at Burlington, it's all about the people we work with. Mm -hmm. It's it's how Amit said, right? It's the, the atmosphere which makes you so comfortable. So if you are somebody from the college new hire or you are with an experience, but the voice, you can be um, free to talk and say, this is what you feel. I have somebody who joined new, who is a college hire, and he's mentored with my senior lead of the team and they work amazing. He's able to say, hey, this is something new I learned in college, let's try it out. I think that atmosphere which gives you that opportunity to grow and, and do what you like and try it out, I think that makes a lot of difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so for me, I think I'll stay with the theme of opportunity, like we just have endless opportunities. So even if you have to go back to the core values of the driving results, being that we're the face of IT, so every kind of IT issue comes through us, and we have to partner with the uh, MIDs and the other um, application teams of the world, that um, we have to kind of drive results and be the face of the brand and try to um, advocate for the customer. So it's very fast paced, although um, you know we always get assistance. If I walk down the hall and ask someone for help, they're always willing to help, they're always willing to give guidance, and you know, um, you know, kind of the partnership piece of it is, is very uh, you know, beneficial in the organization. Mm -hmm. So I think that um, opportunities to work in IT and tech, some people don't always think of retail and what you just said, there's some great opportunities here. 
Um, what would you tell someone about why they might want to join Burlington to further a career in IT? So, um, I, I'm the, the good example I try to give my, I have two boys, right? They are in their college and career building. So the biggest thing of retail is, you know what, you can see it. It's realistic, mm -hmm. right? Finance, yes, it all has different aspects. But um, when it comes to retail, it's the fun part of development and seeing it online and seeing how the whole retail industry works. It's a it's lot of uh, curiosity and creativity involved in it, which is a different aspects to try it out. Yeah. I mean, I think in it's a lot different from uh, information technology just to think about retail because typically the only things you ever think about in retail is the cash register, maybe some reporting or, or something like that, and that, that's basically it. But it's it's more than that, and I think if you get your foot in the door, you'll see the number of items we carry. We're an opportunistic retailer, so we have different types of problems that we typically solve day to day. Uh, that a lot of other companies that just have the same goods on every shelf might not have the same same logistical stuff or the same challenges. So those challenges we create into opportunities, which then create better programs, better technology. Mm -hmm. And then we're, we're cutting edge because we're now trying to build in some of these newer technologies with machine learning, with AI, um, which are, I know, catchphrase buzzwords, but uh, those are the stuff the type of stuff that we get to work on that not necessarily all other retailers or other industries are. Yeah. So my perspective is more, <clears throat> so IT is going to be the backbone mm -hmm. of everything. So I'll give you a scenario of a store, say, being down. <clears throat> if they are down from a network standpoint and they can't generate sales and things of that nature, then, you know, they're not being productive. So without the IT organization, you know, they can't perform their day-to-day -day duties. That goes from the finance department, from the store locations, from distribution centers, as I said earlier. Um, so it's the backbone. So I think where we are at, um, that kind of face of the uh, IT organization, the customer advocate, it's just very important. And it's, it's once again, it, we're the reason why the organization runs, mm -hmm. to be honest. The finance team can't do their job if their computers aren't functioning well. Right. They're sure gonna go open up a binder and do it all handwritten. You know. Yeah. So I say we're the backbone of the organization. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So one last question, something a little bit fun. So we just started our summer Fridays. So I know we're all out at one o'clock on Friday this week. So what's everyone's plan for Friday? What are you doing, Keith? I think I'm going <laughs> to head for the grill. Okay. Um, probably have a couple, you know, refreshments, possibly. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me edit myself uh, some refreshments. Yeah. yeah. Some music. Perfect. Amit? I'll be heading to go golf for about three hours to okay. enjoy my summer Friday. Oh, nice. Rashma, what are your plans? So I am going out with my sister. So oh, nice. that's the plan. Going yeah. out, enjoy. Enjoy? And okay, yes, I see that little the little the refreshments. <laughs> <laughs> that's the plan. Yeah, yeah, nice. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming, guys. I really appreciate you um, joining us. And hopefully everyone else really enjoyed uh, the conversation and learned a little bit more about our IT department here. Um, if you want to learn more about our opportunities, um, check out our website at burlingtonstores.jobs. Check out our Facebook page, our LinkedIn page, and we'll talk to you next time.